Hi guys, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech and today we're going to talk a little bit about this MacBook Air. It's an early 2014 and we'll be back in 10 seconds. So, um, I've been working on this uh, MacBook Air for a friend of mine. He bought it for his wife. Uh, she's a special needs teacher, but she does suffer from uh, low vision issues. And so anyway, she's always used an iPad, so she uh, he picked this up for her. And uh, again, it is a uh, MacBook Air. It's an 11 inch model, early 2014. And it's a base model. It has a, a 1.4 gigahertz dual core Intel i5 processor. Uh, it has four gigs of memory at 1600 megahertz frequency at EDR3. Uh, of course, it has the Intel HD graphics 5000. So it's also running uh, Catalina, the latest version. And so anyway, um, you know, it's a nice little machine. It doesn't have a lot of horsepower, but you know, um, I've seen some reviews by some uh, YouTubers, and I want to dispel a myth about this machine and that is, is I've had a lot of people uh, I'm not going to mention any names because I'm not out there to throw anybody under the bus but anyway a lot of people make fun of it and call it a piece of you know what but you know it's it's a base machine obviously it's not for heavy gaming or anything like that it's just for just basic stuff if you want to do some video calls or just do uh, just run certain applications by no means is it a uh, you know like a MacBook Pro or anything like that but it's just kind of a good little entry machine for a lot of folks and you know this machine they've been making them for quite a while they started making these MacBook Airs all the way back in January of 2008 and they're currently made today uh, the only lim the limitation with the machine obviously is that the uh, RAM is soldered on the board so you can't um, add RAM on it so whatever it is that's the way it's always going to be not unless you ever just wanted to swap out the logic board in it um, but like I said it's a nice little base machine for some folks uh, for myself I, I obviously need something that's got a lot more horsepower for all the stuff that I do and but what I've heard on some of these places is they say that these things don't have a cooling fan in them and I'm going to crack the back open I'm going to open this up and we're going to dispel a myth about these machines. And the myth I'm going to dispel is there's some people that said there's no cooling fans in these things. And right there, there's a fan in there. Now granted, this does not have the best cooling system in it. It's very lacking in that department. That's why I think it's kind of underpowered because of the cooling situation. But anyway, there is a fan on it. And that's what I wanted to show you. So if anybody tells you that there's not a cooling fan on there, right there, there's a cooling fan on it. But we could put a bigger solid state drive in here though. Um, that's one thing you can do because it's got the socket on it. Um, I know they made these models as far as the memory in a four or eight gig configuration. And this is 128 a uh, gigabyte solid state drive and it was also sold either like I said this is the base model this is the 128 configuration or a 256 or a 512 gigabyte flash storage so uh, eventually we will upgrade the flash storage in there to give it more uh, space so that way she can store a lot more files on it but anyway uh, this is a really clean machine. Uh, there's only like two tiny little dents in the back of the cover. The, co the uh, outside cover and the casing is pretty much flawless. And uh, this has a very, very low battery cycle on it. I think it's like 200 or something like that, 214. Which, and the lady said she never hardly ever used it because she was doing some other stuff. But anyway, this is just a, just a kind of a quick video just to kind of show you this uh, machine. And uh, like I said, my main thing is want to show everybody that there is a cooling fan in here. Now it it does uh, it does get very warm. And I when I took the cover off, there was quite a bit of dust in it, so I blew it all out, and it seemed to help a little bit there. 
um, but it runs fine. No, there's no issues with it. So anyway, um, this has been a uh, just a quick video on this, and like I said, just trying to dispel that uh, myth that goes around out there. And I want to thank all the new subscribers. We are up to 103 now. I really appreciate it. We are getting closer to our goal of 500 subs. And also, I just want to remind you to go to the giveaway. Uh, that'll be on the last video that I posted. And uh, it'll tell you the instructions how to enter in the, uh, the giveaway. And that's going to include the Yeti Blue microphone. And it's also going to include the Twin Head Slim Note 486E laptop. It's a vintage uh, PC computer. And so I'd like to give it a good home. Like this video if you liked it. Please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.